We are together again. Praise in the Lord. We are together again. In one accord. Something good is gonna happen. I could feel it in my soul. We are together again. Praise in the Lord. We are together again. Praise in the Lord. We are together again. In one accord. Something good is gonna happen. I could feel it in my soul. We are together again. Praise in the Lord. Good morning and welcome to HEDM Morning Devotion. My name is Sister Wendy and my topic is Too Much Time Wasted on Guilt and Bitterness. The guilt is beating you up. Hurt leads to bitterness. It makes you replay your mistakes and it is wasted. You can never be free of bitterness as long as you continue to think on forgiving thoughts. There are many people like this today. Not only are they bitter, but they enjoy being bitter. They somehow like it and they feed on it. They won't even know what to do if they get rid of the feeling. We know people like that even in our very own churches. It is easy to recognize when someone is bitter. It is written in their faces, their actions, and even their words. Paul says to get rid of all bitterness and to be compassionate one to another. Therefore, the bitterness must go. But before it can be removed, it is necessary to know what it is and that it is there. Before I continue, continue let me explain the two. Guilt is what we feel when we sin. And the bitterness is what we feel when others sin against us. The very definition of bitterness points to the action of another. For example, if we had committed the offense... We would feel guilty and would know that, right? We had to confess the sin and forsake our sin. We might confess the sin, but not because we don't know what to do, but what we do with the guilt of others. Bitterness is always based upon someone else's sin. You may think you have the right to be bitter, but the Bible does not grant anyone the right to be bitter. See to it that no one misses the grace of God and that no bitter grows up to cause trouble and defile many. Defile means to be spoiled, to be unclean, to corrupt purity of perfection, right? So you can look this up in Hebrew 12 verses 15. When we think about all of our procrastination and wasted time, we can be weighed down with all the, mis the missed opportunities. At this point, we have to resist the temptation to avoid the feeling of guilt. Don't try to lower God's standard of perfection. We are guilty people. We are guilty of bad thoughts, false statements, and hurtful deeds. <clears throat> Mostly, we are guilty before a pure and holy God. What does some things we feel guilty about? Hmm. Not calling our parents often enough not spending enough time with our kids, not being more thoughtful, eating unhealthy, eating too much, not exercising, wasting money, and simply just wasting time. And the list can be endless, and that could lead you to depression, anxiety, stress, and difficulty in sleeping. What happiness for those who guilt has been forgiven? What joy when sins are covered over by our Lord and Savior. What relief for those who have confessed their sins and God has declared their record. Feeling guilty or shame can cause you to lose your happiness. You have got to get rid of the guilt and maintain a clear conscience. If you want to be happy, 
because you cannot feel guilty and be happy at the same time. It just doesn't work. Happiness, joy, and relief are three things everybody is looking for in life. We all want relief from our, from our pain. The Bible says it all comes from purity, and purity comes from forgiving for and purity comes from forgiveness through God's grace. So how do we keep a clear conscience? At the beginning and at the end of every day, do a spiritual inventory. Talk to God about everything that is standing between you and Him. And then deal with the junk from your day. When we, when we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us from our sins and purity and purify us from all unrighteousness. Hope this was able to help someone who is wasting time on guilt and bitterness. Continue to call, continue to talk to God and he will bring happiness in your life and clear your mind. Thank you. This is the end of my time. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you with no strength of my, of my own, but I know my strength comes from you, Lord Jesus. Thanking you for another blessed morning. May you continue to guide, guide, and protect us at this time in our Lord, as we continue to start our morning and to continue through our day, Lord. Lord, I know that my time is never wasted with you, Lord, and I give you thanks and I give you glory. I pray that you clear our minds today, Lord, and be productive. Lord, I pray that you keep our, keep our mind in focus, in spirit, and in truth, Lord. Giving honor, glory, and praise to your holy name. In Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you for spending some time with me. I hope that you was uplifted and inspired this morning. Stay tuned for more upcoming devotions. Until next time, remember Jesus loves you, and so do I.